What's up everybody? Thank you for tuning into the Vlog Cabin this week. My name is Aaron and today we're getting ready for BAC. Personally, I'm not actually competing at BAC, which makes my preparations a lot easier in most cases than the people that are. But I am going to be bringing you guys a lot of information about how to prepare for BAC once I actually get there and have some time to talk with some of the people that are really, really good at competing and know what they're doing and have done this time and time again where they have months and months before a contest where they're preparing for it. So I'm going to talk to them about what they do, their specific strategies and everything like that, but more on that next week. As far as my plans go, I'm actually heading north tomorrow, a week in advance, to meet up with Alec and Andrew and Mark Mangarin eventually. And we're going to be shooting videos, shooting photos just kind of exploring Seattle and then we'll be flying from Seattle down to San Francisco for the contest and my intention is to actually bring you guys a vlog every single day of next weekend so one on Friday one on Saturday potentially one on Sunday if there's enough content for it. Besides that here's what my personal preparations for a contest pretty much look like every single time that I travel. So obviously number one priority going to a yo-yo contest what yo-yos do I bring? I used to take my entire case full of yo-yos to every contest I went to just because I wanted to be able to sell them or trade them or swap them with people or just give some away things like that. Recently that has become a huge hassle especially if I'm also bringing a ton of camera gear to a contest so I've pretty much narrowed it down to three yo-yos every time that I've come to a contest and those are one that's just fun to play with doesn't necessarily have to be a great yo-yo in the past that's been something like a Big Dipper or a Yeti or something like that just a fun yo-yo that you can throw on breaks and kind of mess around with since Worlds though I've been a huge fan of the Moonshine and actually I probably spend more time playing with this yo-yo than any of the other ones that I own so I bring this one it's hard to play with in terms of doing your regular tricks on it it's super fun because it can be responsive it's just a cool all-around yo-yo and it fits in your pocket so well because it's so slim so this is kind of my beater for the contest. I usually bring one that's just a solid all around competitive yo-yo that can do anything. Recently, it's been the Blizzard, although I also just got an igloo, so I'm probably gonna be bringing the igloo. This yo-yo is a monster. It's just a lot of fun. So I'm gonna bring that one for when I actually wanna be doing yo-yo tricks. Sometimes I bring a third if I have plans to either give one away or trade with somebody or something like that. I'm kind of deciding between a bunch of different things because I usually come home with at least an extra yo-yo too, and I just don't wanna have a, too much space allotted to them if I'm flying. Although I may be bringing either the Peak 2 or the Dune, just because these are both really, really fun, and it's a nice kind of contrast to the Igloo and the Moonshine, just kind of a fun one. But other than that, I pretty much leave everything else at home. Another good thing to bring to a contest for yo-yoing, extra strings. I've never really had a whole lot of problems with bearings at contests or anything like that, even when I was competing, but strings are a must have. In fact, a lot of players will just unpackage a brand new box and stick it in their back pocket and then they'll have that for the entire contest. Beyond that, it's camera gear, obviously. So I've got a backpack that I usually stick all of my electronic stuff in, laptop, cameras, tripods, microphones, SD cards, hard drives, lenses, Everything that you can think of to make videos and photos, I throw it into a bag with yo-yos and other things like that. And then I've got another bag that I just throw clothes into. Yeah, basic travel stuff, that's kind of it. So when we're at BAC, I wanna see you guys. I wanna put you guys on the blog. In fact, it's gonna be the first time that I'm gonna be able to feature a lot of the people on our team as well. And so I kinda just wanna make it a huge community event, especially since I'm gonna be trying to push out so many videos over the weekend. I would love to feature a bunch of you guys in it. I would love to talk to you, interview you, just hear your thoughts about the community, about specific things about competing, about just yo-yoing for fun, what your favorite experiences are, things like that. So please, 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 if you are at BAC, reach out to me. I would love to put you on the vlog. I would love to just chat with you, get to know you guys a little bit better. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's probably one of my favorite contests every single year in terms of the environment. So the contest itself in history has been windy and I know that it's indoors this year so it should remedy that whole thing, make it a better actual competition. But being in San Francisco with a bunch of people from the yo-yo community is just so much fun every single year. We usually go and shoot photos of the Golden Gate Bridge. We usually go and get sushi in Japantown. It's just tons of fun. I'm so excited. We've also got some super secret announcements coming soon, and I'm really excited to share those with you guys as soon as they happen. Unfortunately, I can't really say much because it hasn't been announced yet, but as soon as it is, I'm just really excited. 
really cool things happening for Caribou Lodge. Unfortunately, I don't have a giveaway to do for you guys this week, but we will have one that is very cool coming up soon. Um, I'm waiting on it to get shipped to me so that I can show you what it is that we're giving away, and that's gonna be incredibly awesome. Other than that, that's pretty much all for me. I am off to Portland tomorrow. I will be jumping up to Seattle shortly after that to meet up with Alec and Andrew, and then later on I'll be meeting up with Alec and Mark, and then we'll be flying down to San Francisco to see all of you guys there, bringing you a ton of videos of the entire contest the entire time. So it's gonna be a crazy weekend. I'm really excited about it. I can't wait to get on the road. It's been a while since I've done any big traveling, and this is just gonna be so much fun. Thank you all for tuning into the vlog cabin this week. It's been a blast. I'm really excited about this contest season and seeing all of you guys soon. I'll catch you next week.